Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another TBU video from me, this calendar, and this is our team build analysis and I'm doing this on Saturday because we are gonna have this match on Sunday actually quite late so I decided that I might as well record as fast as possible because both Ellis and Rob were really really good this time helping out really early. We threw a few ideas off uh, before actually even strategizing. The first thing I'm gonna mention is that due to his draft, he actually, or rather should, due to him having me while uh, we're actually gonna avoid Cremons. Uh, both Lando, Thunderous, and Shaman are kind of hard to use these battles. We're gonna avoid that completely, to be honest with you guys. Which is fine. And we'll also switch out Alakazam for Calorona this time. Mostly because Volcarona is quite nifty and quite strong for this battle. Now, his complete draft is. Um, let's see. Meanwhile, Tokis, Among Us, Delphox, Crocodile, Jun Mega, Slobo, Rotom Heat, Hitmolee, and Mega Altaria. So, quite prominent. But nothing that we shouldn't be able to keep up with. Uh, to be honest, Volcarona can deal with a lot of these mons. It can hit persistently, obviously, against Rotom and uh, Mega Altaria. But honestly, there is really nothing they can do against him or her. Um, so uh, Volcarona is going to be my winning condition throughout this match. But we have six members that we're going to talk about. And of course, I'm going to mention my ideas with them. And things to keep in mind. And of course, we're going to end this video on uh, my perks for this match, and of course, the worst case scenario of what can happen. So anyway, the first mods we're going to use are... Mega Dianchi. And honestly, Mega Dianchi is a very, very high presence in this battle, if anything. And we decided to go for Timid this time, and basically it's Timid because Naive and Hasty did really not outdo as much more damage with Diamond Storm than it really need to. And we only have Diamond Storm basically for the mods we can hit super effectively, of being of course Rotom. And we have Psychic for um, Among Us if it's forced to do that. And other than that, Mega the Engine has a very, very high presence here. Um, it is kind of hard to uh, deal with uh, for my opponent. Uh, we have enough speed to outspeed Delphox if it is a team with one. So that's pretty much the only thing I need to outspeed. Um, we can't outspeed Meanwhile anyway. Like I said, Meanwhile is a big presence for me, so it's something I need to uh, deal with. Um, I can survive an earthquake from Mega Altaria, um, which is something to keep in mind. But outside of that, I pretty much it's free just to click Moonblast or anything, and something is gonna hurt. Um, if his um, crocodile is scarfed and uh, takes me out, then obviously I can use Gengar to um, come in on that because obviously it's locked into that. And other than that, Mega the Energy and Volcarona keep each other kind of healthy. Uh, I'm need magic bounce to avoid the rocks, and as long as I can do that, uh, Volcarona is going to be a prominent threat for my opponent. So that's pretty much it. Like I need to keep my Volcarona health at all costs uh, until I feel safe of sweeping with Volcarona. Uh, other than that, um, nothing to it. I need to, like I said, keep this one healthy, and I should do just about fine. And the second mon is Gengar. And we're actually going for a Black Sludge Substitute set this time around because um, basically I have a lot of Pokemon I can set up with. I, um, obviously not Meanwhile. Uh, I have enough speed to speed Delphog, which obviously, like um, um, like the NG, it's only relevant Pokemon to have speed. Uh, I can survive a plus one Adamant uh, return from Regalteria if it comes to that. And I can survive due to my defenses. Uh, pursuit Trap, uh, <laughs> which is something that I worth keeping in mind. Uh, outside of that, I really just uh, need Shadow Ball to hurt Slowbro if I use that, and Delphox is going down with that too. I have Ice Wind as filler. It's basically to uh, take on potential Scar Crocodile, or basically, Dazzling Gleam does not really do a lot more, so um, Ice Wind just solves it for me, and honestly, Ice Wind solves a lot of things because if you switch on, switch into that, I'm guaranteed to go first, which is something that I'm going to use my advantage. Um, substitute that to preventing John Mega from actually uh, checking my uh, Gengar with, of course, uh, Protect to actually outspeed it. Um, the only thing I need to keep in mind is that his Among Us could have foul play, which is going to break the sub, so I have to keep that in mind. Other than that, um, Gengar is a solid Pokemon against his whole team, actually. Uh, not a whole lot dealing with it properly, and uh, I should be able to do just fine with it. Um, need to avoid the situation with uh, Gengar versus me while it's something I'm not going to be particularly fond of, and I don't really want to risk uh, being pursued trap against that. 
Third one is of course Volcarona. I pretty much said that from the get-go. It's uh, it's gonna win me the game. There is really nothing you can do against Volcarona. It's gonna stop it. Uh, we have enough speed to outspeed like Jolly Crocodile. Uh, when our speed investments or leftovers will help me get uh, five subs up, which is really all I need. Um, outside of that, I only need to be a plus one with, uh, or go for one quiver dance to do just about fine. Uh, fire dance is there basically because it's, it's while slightly weaker than fire blast, it actually has more chance of hitting, which is the, the of course, more important part. Um, well, like I said, Rotom Heat and Altera is kind of walling this thing, or not walling it, but it can take its, um, um, sorry, it can take its, um, resistance hits. Um, it, they are still not going to be able to win the matchup due to Quiver Dance. Um, I was, or a thing that I am a bit worried about is that if it has a potential hidden power in the mana, on any Pokemon within a power rock. Outside of that, Mega Altera should do really fine. If it comes in with a Yon Mega against my, um, well, Corona then I should likely try to go for a Quiver Dance against the predicted uh, Protect, because obviously I don't want that thing to be able to outspeed me. But outside of that, Volcarona should just win the game, there is really nothing this team can stop it. And uh, honestly, I, I'm gonna looking forward to use Volcarona, because like I said, if I can use Dianchi Volcarona in conjunction, these, this combo should be unstoppable, and my opponent should not have a chance with that combo in mind. Next up is Defensive Heracross, yeah! Um, never thought I would come to today when I say I'm gonna use this thing defensively. But I'm kinda forced to, because like I said, due to my few matchup um, choices against uh, Meanwhile, um, Heracross basically solves it. I don't need close combat this battle because the only thing that hits super effectively with close combat is Crocodile and Mega Horn does more anyway. While not as safe as a hit, it still is the closest thing I really need to. Hey, we have safety goggles to make sure that the matchup versus Among Us is not going to be a matchup he wins. Um, I'm going to basically, if that comes to that situation, I'm going to go for a sword stance and finish it off with a Mega Horn. Mega Horn is a guarantee one hit KO, so uh, I basically just need to set up one SD. I should be just about fine. Uh, I'm going to keep in mind that his Meanwhile could have Air Lace. Air Lace could potentially take me out of his Life Orb, um, but we have enough speed investment, or HP investment, sorry, to uh, hopefully survive that, but it's not something we're going to take for granted. And uh, basically, Heracross is also here with that HP investment to actually match Slowbro. If Slowbro is a Trick Room uh, offensive set, which is something that works really well against this team, then Mega Horn is going to be my one and only response. We can't survive that. If we're not going to survive it well, a Psy Shock still put us really, really down. Like, it does still around 80%. But we do take it, and the retaliation is just about enough for us to actually get back. And I also have slow Pokemon that can utilize that safely. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, being that Heracross isn't that fast means that he can use Trigger to its advantage afterwards. That's why it's here. Next one is Empoleon. Empoleon is a very, very defensive set this time around, and uh, while not particularly fond of it, it's a set with Shukaberry that means that both Crocodile and uh, Altaria are kept at bay. We have some special bulk to be able to deal with uh, John Mega if he uses that. Uh, outside of that, basically, we have Stealth Rocks here because he's very, very weak to it, and we have Defog in case I screw up with Mega Daenchi. But, like I said, I'm not particularly going to use Defog this battle because my offensive pressure are just that high. And uh, I should try to preserve Empoleon as long as uh, his uh, Altera is in bay because we kind of need to get the thing toxic if uh, we aren't basically dealing with it properly. But outside of that, Empoleon, like I said, it's here for a defensive response. Uh, it's here to set up rocks and that's really all I needed to do. And the last Mount Enter Frey is Cobalion. A very, very safe choice this battle and for obvious reasons. Its stabs are great against my opponent, and um, we chose to have a Choice Scarf set this time because we need to be faster than a Scarf Delta Fox if that's a thing. And we do have speed, a Mega, Young Mega, and Mega Altaria at plus one, which is extremely important. Stone Edge is there for John Mega and Delta Fox. Iron Head is pretty much for the rest of the team, and uh, the only response he could have is Rotom Heat. So if I bring my uh, Cobalion against. Uh, my opponent, um, I'm basically going to go for Volswish because he's not going to go for his Crocodile, at least not the first matchup, would be, which would have been 
a perfect opportunity for him to bring the Rotom, which seems very likely if he uses that. And if so, I'm basically going to bring my Volcarona and pretty much set up from there. But uh, it also is a good chance he can bring either uh, his um, Slowbro or Among Us against my Cobalion to be able to deal with that. So I have responses for that and I'm, I should be able to do fine with that in mind. So hopefully we can pull that off. I mean, I'm not feeling that comfortable with that in mind, but uh, Cobalion is the one that's going to make the change of this battle and he has every move to be able to hit my opponent's team while not having the punch to you know, hurt enough, it should hurt everyone's team just about enough to make me pretty much be able to win this team uh, against this team um, so pretty much that's it, Like that's the main idea and here are the thoughts against my opponent itself so right, here's the complete team that I'm using and uh, of course, I should really comment about my opponent's team, what I think it's gonna bring. Um, I did, when I switched in Volcarone, I decided I should bring Rotom Heat, so I think Rotom Heat is given. I don't see it as a good response to my team, but you know, hell, go for it. Um, like I said, if he does that and Volcarone has a big entry, uh, of course, setting up, that is, of course, a bit of a fun way and whatnot, and I'm just gonna screw up, aren't I? <laughs> But anyway, outside of that, um, I'm definitely predicting he must bring Meanwhile. Meanwhile is A and O in this battle. Um, Crocodile, he needs to get up rocks against my Volcarona. Uh, Crocodile is his only setter for that, so uh, that's a given. Uh, Slowbro, Slowbro is a good response. Like I said, if it is offensive Trick Room set, I'm going to kind of stumble a bit. Uh, I shouldn't lose to it, but it's going to be a present that I have to deal with. Um, so I feel that like those four Pokemon are given. Outside of that, I think he needs, if he decides to bring John Mega, then he's gonna bring Hitmalee, because he needs a spinner. Um, uh, and pretty much, I think Megaltera is a good choice too. Uh, I don't see him bring in Togekiss, Among Us, or Delphox. They are definitely the least usable monster in this battle. Uh, Among Us could work, but at the same time, I have done the responses to make that not work. So if he does that, I have another situation where I can work it out myself. I don't and yeah, I think that's about it, like, my biggest issue going into this battle is not necessarily my opponent itself, but rather the time we are battling. Uh, I, I'm not particularly fond of battling um, late on the weekends when I need to get up early in the morning. Um, I've stumbled on those games before and I'm, I'm feeling a bit scared of that. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get too late, like I said, I'm recording this on Saturday and we're gonna battle tomorrow, Sunday, um, at... Um, 9.30 p.m. which is, while it's not that late, I w I'm usually going up at uh, 4.30 a.m. in the morning on uh, Mondays, so like I said, not particularly fond of that because both me and my fiance is working really, really early, so uh, it's pretty much, it, it's something, I'm, like I said, I'm not particularly fond of it, but it shouldn't affect me so much. Uh, I have enough prep work to not stumble too much against my opponent, and really this team should do just about fine. As long as I don't screw up, I shouldn't really lose this battle. Uh, I know that sounds really arrogant, but I mean it in a good way. Um, St. Louis shout out to Baby has been stepping up. Um, while he has lost all his four games, he still has you know, gotten better. But um, with this matchup in mind, as long as I don't screw up against Miwal, I shouldn't really lose. Uh, Miwal is the only thing that could potentially take this game back. But um, I need to play really badly for that to happen. Uh, so I hope I don't eat that up while saying that, of course. Like I said, playing late is not my forte, and that could really, really. I would really suck if I lose. Um, but anyway, guys, you will find that out tomorrow. Um, so I'll play some first date. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. That is my prep work. I hope I win this battle. Um, like I said, there is really not a lot of things on his team that really are threatening me and I've done enough prep work to do just about fine here. And the only thing I need is an opening for Volcarona, I should basically win this game with that in mind. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching and I'll you will see the result tomorrow. And I'll tell you guys, take care. Bye.